Doctor, the government is preparing for the rollout of the vaccine this month. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about vaccine hesitancy. In fact, you mentioned the USP survey. What's yeah. it like for the, you will be among the first, your frontline. <laughs> What's the what's the mood in the medical community? Is there a lot of eagerness or is there also hesitancy? That kind of hesitancy that's below fifty, below fifty and trust in vaccines, is it also there in the medical community? Well in the medical community, um, a lot of us would like to get the vaccine. Okay. Mm -hmm. And i think uh, the Octa group is willing to share the uh, survey of um, uh, the survey that came out of USD COVAX. And uh, th this is a fresh survey. I actually helped um, them uh, roll it out on social media. Uh, and if you look at the results, a lot of 55% are willing to get immunized. That's in general. Yes. No? If you look yes. at the doctors that want to get immunized, about maybe about 80% would want to get immunized. And the ironic part there is in the choice of the vaccine. Yes. So, so you're correct. You are correct. When you go to the choice of the vaccine, uh, and if you rolled out a China-made vaccine, are they willing to get? Yes. That, that's where the discrepancy is. Yes, I am, but not China. Ah, okay. Mm. So okay. That, that's the more that, That's where you need to read Yes. The, the survey, if you, you okay. can't just say, nah, all right, a lot of people will want to get immunized, but if you're rolling out something that's coming out of something that I don't want to get first, yeah. then you, you're going to have a problem because you're going to order a, 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 so much and all vaccines have expiration dates. There's no such thing as a drug that does not have an expiration date. I mean, doctor, is there any vaccines. Doctor, ah. is there any way of of overestimating the optics, uh, the power of the optics of that. Because kanina, uh, Secretary Negrales was saying, look, seeing is believing. Once they see their role models getting this, uh, know, they, they will follow suit. But it also follows that when they, once they see their role models not doing it, what's yes. the impact of that? And then, and in Correct. particular, you know, the president doesn't want to be, take the shot in public. Uh, we've spoken to mayors who said, we don't want, I don't want, ako mismo, ayoko ng Sinovac uh, myself na mauuna ako dyan. Yeah. If doctors themselves, and really, Secretary Nograles was left with saying, well, the frontliners will be the, will be the role models. And now you're saying, uh, well, let's be honest, even many frontliners will not take yes. Sinovac first. Yes. That, 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 that's, that's the true, that's the true scenario that, you know, there are quite a few there, there are quite a lot that are, if you gave me a choice on what vaccine I would want, then um, I probably would go with um, a vaccine that has better efficacy data. Siyempre, mm. diba? If you put of course, apples, yeah. orange, it, I, I mean, you know, this is a no-brainer. Mm -hmm. If I put all the data together mm. and I compared apples, oranges, peaches, and mangoes, mm. and I showed you which one tasted better, I'm sure you would pick the one that tasted better, mm. right? Opo, opo, doc, yeah. Pero doc, the, the argument being propounded to the public is that uh, so long as it uh, meets the minimum na 50% uh, no. efficacy ng WHO, that's as good as any. And basta may EUA, uh -huh. basta in approved so, ng FDA. So, uh, so how, do we, how do we look at it then? Uh, uh, should, should we go for, should we go with the 50% or should we go higher? I mean... Uh, I guess the question is... Would you encourage your patients, for example, mm. to be vaccinated with well, no, uh, <laughs> another know, excellent 54%? Question, no? In yeah. the first place, my patients will not be eligible because I'm a pediatrician. Okay. So uh, they should take that out of the equation when they're ordering vaccines. So I, I'm sure they have because 108 million doses divided by two would mean 50 plus million only. Um, but you have to factor in that uh, there will be about 40% that will not want to get immunized. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of high, no? Uh, and uh, there is a reason for that, and part of it is because of the, um, the problem we, developed, we had with Dengvaksha. Uh, and uh, that, that in itself... Um, yeah. Is, uh, is, is there a, is there a, a lot of mistrust 
in uh, the the vaccine program of the yeah. government. I, I, Doc, I want to get back to something that Luci pointed out and, and yeah. asked Kanina. Is there a risk of dosages going to waste? Particularly for these ones na mababa ang, ano, mababa ang, ang confidence. Well, kasi pera din yan eh. No? And they're kind of expensive. Uh, we have to take into consideration the various preparations that are coming in. For example, uh, the mRNA, kasi tama si Secretary Nograles kanina, no? when he was mentioning that uh, they come from different platforms. Mm -hmm. The platforms are not interchangeable. Mm -hmm. uh, while the Center for Disease Control in the United States has already given a go signal in exceptional cases that uh, should, for example, Pfizer... Um, BioNTech vaccine run out and you need a second dose and there is none, then you can get the Moderna vaccine. But they have the same platform and we have to remember that it's mRNA. Yes. You cannot have a vector-based uh, virus um, vaccine and then, then shift to an, um, an mRNA because there is no interchangeability study. So you go back to the question of um, your wastage. Uh, in, again, no, if we look at the current countries that are rolling out their vaccine programs, and it, this is practically maybe one of the reasons why Japan, South Korea, and Hong Kong are not too keen into um, getting their action in. Because if you have look at these three countries, they're, they're really the, the most powerful ones as well uh, yes. within, the Asian the within the Asian region. And yet... Um, they're not stepping up the plate and saying, all right, we want to get into the vaccine scene. They're just at the sideline and waiting and watching everybody else uh, with this vaccine program. So if you take in, look at the, what, what's happening now is that there are a lot of people that, um, um, the, a lot of vaccines that are going to waste. Like, for example, uh, if you open one Moderna vaccine, you'd have to give it to 10 people. The Pfizer vaccine, you'd have to give it to oh. five. Oh, yeah, because it comes in a multi-dose mm -hmm. vial. Ah, and one of the reasons why the Sinovac vaccine is kind of more expensive, it's, I think, huh, I think, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. uh, the Philippines is buying the single dose uh, dispensable. Uh, see, the single doses are more expensive than the multi-dose vials. <laughs> So if you're buying multi-dose preparations, you can imagine that once I bring that yes. out and I have to administer it, and that will wear out in the next six hours. Yes, yes, right. What will I do with the rest if the other people do not come in? I will have to drag right. them out of Timbuktu. Mm.